Finally, we're going to look at the triangle angle bisector theorem. Now, I'm not going to prove it here. It's actually a bit of a complicated proof. I do have a link on the website to a nice proof that, <clears throat> that Khan Academy did if you want to go ahead and sit through that. So, what does the angle, uh, triangle angle bisector theorem say? Well, it says that an angle bisector of a triangle divides the opposite side into two segments. So this BC is the opposite side whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. So these are the other two sides, AB and AC. So AB is going to be proportional to BD and AC and CD. So if I say AB over BD, that's equal to AC over DC. Okay. Just so it's very easy to set up the uh, problem. Basically, you're going to go 15.5 over 11.5 equals X over 9.2 cross multiply and then divide by the coefficient of x which is 11.5 and so you get x is 12.4. So it's a very simple theorem to apply. It's a little bit more complicated to prove. So in reflection, um, does the angle bisector automatically create two similar triangles? Now let's go back and look at that. Here you can see I've got 15.5, 11.5, and we found that was 12.4. Well, I can figure out that I've got to, what I have to multiply these by. I can make equivalent ratios with those two, but 9.3 doesn't go with 9.3. So the interesting thing is while the angle bisector theorem can make a proportion, it doesn't really create similar triangles. It just says that this AB side is, uh, if I divide that by BD, that's equal to AC over DC. And then how do you set up proportions for triangles created by angle bisectors? Use the sides that are outside. Again, for all three theorems that we looked at today, we did not use any of the segments that were inside in the interior of the triangle.